What's up, people? I'm showing you how to make a new nuclear reactor setup that makes more power than I think physically possible with any other nuclear reactor setup I've ever seen before in my life. Uh, this is for Tekkit. Need, of course, reactor, reactor chamber, um, redstone, redstone repeater, thermal monitor, energy condenser, either one of these or two of these, um, glass fiber cable, the high voltage cable, high voltage transformer, lever, and a piece of dirt. Okay, first take a piece of dirt, go like this. You go like this. Look like that. Magic, man. Magic. We call the sheep in the world, because it's so annoying. Oh, I hate it when I want you ever fly. I can never get my creative to make me fly. I'll just put this here. Go like that. So you have a six chamber reactor. And then this is one of the most important parts because this keeps it from blowing up. Kind of. First you go like this. Make sure it's facing the same direction. Like that. Go like this. Like that. Like that. Oh, I forgot. You take a thermal monitor. And you go like that. You got hit shift and then click on it. Make sure it's on 500. So if this reactor gets to 500 degrees or whatever its units are, it'll shut off the reactor and keep it from blowing up. So it's very useful. Next part is most people not can figure out what to do next. Since this makes so much power, you need to put it through a high voltage transformer before you put it in an MFSU. MF, MFSU. You don't know the three prong side on these. If you look at it, there's a three prong side needs to be facing the cable. Um, it faces the side you place it down. Like if I look like this, it places it on towards me. That's why I still don't remember that. How um, many MFS? MFSU like this spawn a million of things. Now these, this reactor will fill these up quickly. I'll put down three. I've never seen a reactor give out more power. I believe it gives out 2,030 ticks of power. E will power. Okay, so now that we got like a train of that stuff, Oh, I forgot you parts. You also need L also need a filter like this. Um you need some of the phonemic tubes. I don't know why I say that. Um and you need a timer. And a ice. Ice you can get by taking snow blocks and putting them in a compressor. You don't want to make snow blocks, um, you can put up somewhere else. You just get snowballs and then you put them like glowstone. So, if you don't know how to do that, it's kind of sad. Okay. First thing you do is come back to your chest. You grab. Where'd they go? They're there. Grab the energy collectors and the energy condenser. Come over here. Place them down. It doesn't really matter which way anything's facing. Stick the ice in there and you have it start making ice. Now filter. Oh yeah, I need to break this one. Filter works just like the three prong thing. It faces towards you, so stand by it. So things like that. Um, dynamic tubes. And then, then I don't know how to say that. So I'll let that make some more. Well, oh yeah, I forgot about the switch. I generally, you don't have to do this, but I always put a switch right here for easy turn off. So if you want to turn off, you just go like that, turns it off. Very easy. Um, you need to come grab ice. I think I have enough stacks. Now, put ice here, here, here. Yeah, I'm not going to say here every time. No, I need more ice.
Okay. You put ice in that position. Make sure this next step, make sure your reactor is off. Otherwise it will most likely explode. I'm going to bank all my stuff because I need as much room as possible. This uses I believe 54 uranium. So I can't spell uranium right there. Look. Let's click this for a while. Last time I made a video, it picked up my mouse clicking, so I hope it's not too loud for you, all you people. Anyways, you fill the rest up with uranium. It's pretty, pretty easy. Next few steps. It's all it is is uranium. Now this is a lot of uranium, but it makes a total of like twenty thousand. Not really twenty thousand, but um. You probably fill up about a hundred MFSUs with by the time these cells are depleted, at least. Now it's time to get your timer back out. Um, I'm sure advanced people will know what I'm about to do next. Is you take this timer, it's magic. Put it down right here. I did that wrong. Sit down with this? No. Why does everything always face down towards you? Yeah, I do. That. I think I did that right. No, I did it right the first time. Okay. You put it down so the little redstone torchy thing is facing the filter. I did get a filter right. Yes. You put it to 0.2 seconds. And the reason it's not putting ice yet is because it doesn't need any ice in here. And then you turn this on very simple step. Now if this gets too hot this thing will turn on this thing down here. I'll show that in case like something breaks. See, makes power, ice fills up, doesn't blow up. Very simple. I've ran this for a long time without stop. I've ran the cells dead without stopping. It does not explode. And as you can see it's getting Power very rapidly was at 300,000. It's in this one. A million. There's already a million in this one. This one still has none. Change it back to. Okay, so if I were to accidentally break this timer, like that, whoops, break the pipe, whoops, and then accidentally take out all the cooling out of my reactor. This thing right here would turn on and keep the reactor off so it does not blow up. So it stays off. No explosions. It's very nice. And then I come back on. It's like, oh, hey, I broke that. And fix it. Put this back on two seconds. It starts pumping lots of ice. Ta-da! Turns back off. Starts making power again. Um, I think it was like five minutes for two MFSUs to be full of power. I believe that's what we timed. Me and my friend. I don't know why I just did that. Um, but yeah, see, this already it's already fifth of the way full. And what? It's like twenty seconds. This one's tenth of the way full. This never runs out of ice. I've never had this run out of ice on me before. Norm it'll get like completely full and then these will get like 10,000 EU of power in them. Oops, let's try to open this chest. Yeah, so you need uh, MFSUs, HV transformer, energy collectors, energy condenser, dynamic tubes, redstone. Oh, I'm going to show you the recipe for this thermal thing. Why did it do that? Recipe thing, non, non creative. Go like this. Thank you. Put you right here. Go like that. Uh, you'd make, take reinforced glass, one redstone, and advanced circuit. Advanced circuit. If you made a reactor, you know how to make an advanced circuit. And most likely, you also know how to make reinforced glass, but if you don't, it's like that. If you don't make this, you make these, and you compress them, which makes that. 
If you don't know how to do that, this is how you make those. If you don't know how to make bronze, this is how you make, uh, this is how you make bronze. It's very simple. But if you made a reactor, you don't want to make bronze. You may want to rethink your tech career. So this is already almost half full. <clears throat> this one down here is one fifth of the way full, and the middle one always seems to get no power till the other two are full. I don't know why. They're like the first one will fill up, and this one will start getting some power. This will fill up, and that one will just like explode with power. So, yeah, very simple setup. Uh, you do not need to put this anywhere special to keep it from wrecking stuff if it blows up because it doesn't blow up. <laughs> Stay stocked with ice. Um, I have not had it create any lag for me. It's not lagging right now, and most of my videos I make with this lag. So, yeah, it's very, very easy. That took me what five minutes plus. This is, as far as I know, the most oops, most powerful reactor setup. It takes one, two, three, four, five times three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times five is forty-five plus two. I guess that's forty-seven uranium. Uh, they last forever. It seems like they never ran out on me. And yeah, uh, I have. I'll have to show you my world. I'll show you my world next.